Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I'm gonna have to purchase. So welcome to the 76th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item we purchased came off the wheel of businesses, which was was the arcade and the last item i purchased off the wheel of luxury was the latest dlc vehicle which was the cavalcade xl but what is going to be the next item i am going to have to purchase off the wheel of luxury and it looks like oh my god it's finally time thank you yes Woo! All right, so we landed on HSW vehicle. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, we already have an HSW vehicle, which this vehicle sucks. And a lot of people don't understand how bad my current HSW vehicle is. And the idea with this wheel spin was to get that vehicle and then take this wheel spin off the wheel. But that vehicle has been so bad, I put it back on the wheel. I put it back on the wheel, like, I don't know, like episode 30, I think? We're on 76 and we finally landed on it. Thank you. All right, so it says we have to spin a wheel of one to 19 to determine what HSW vehicle we can purchase, but there's been a new DLC since we've had this wheel spin up. I think there's a total of 20 HSW vehicles. All right, so I'm currently on a wheel of one to 20 and whatever number we land on is gonna determine what HSW vehicle we are gonna have to purchase. And what HSW vehicle we're gonna have to purchase is gonna be based upon this list right here on GTA Wiki. How this is gonna work is the Karen S95 is gonna be number one. The Fister Astron Custom is gonna be number two. We're gonna go top down if you're not getting the picture. The Coil Cyclone two two is going to be number three and then blah 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 all the way down and then the declassy vigero zx convertible will be 19 and then the karen viva knight will be 20 all right but let's spin the wheel and let's see what's going to be my new hsw vehicle let's throw the arbiter gt in the trash can and we are going to have to get number 20 which this is going to be easy to count so on this list number 20 is going to be the bottom one right here which is going to be the karen viva knight oh yeah i just realized too before any of y'all say it there's technically 21 hsw vehicles in the game but one of them was vaulted back last summer and that is the sterling gt so the sterling gt you can't buy so there's 20 hsw vehicles that you can buy all right so here's the karen viva knight right here coming in at one million six hundred and five thousand dollars but we have to turn this into an hsw variant vehicle which the conversion for this specific vehicle is going to be eight hundred thousand dollars and then for the customization for this vehicle i think it's going to cost right around four hundred thousand dollars on top of that too so in total we're gonna need two million eight hundred thousand dollars and currently right now we're sitting on five hundred and seventy two thousand dollars so we roughly need to get right around two million dollars before we can actually purchase the karen viva knight which will be my favorite vehicle once we get it i'm already calling it it's gonna be my favorite vehicle all right so now i'm on the wheel of quick cash so how are we gonna start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do the los santos to taurus board so we have to go out and photograph a bunch of different animals. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our maxed out methodology lab. All right, so we're gonna have to sell off our maxed out methodology lab. But what else in this episode am I gonna have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are gonna have to sell off sourced vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. And we're gonna have to spin a wheel five to seven to determine how many vehicles we're gonna have to sell off. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how many cars we're gonna have to sell off from our vehicle cargo warehouse. And it looks like we are only going to do the minimum, which is going to be five. All right, so we're gonna have to sell off our methodology lab. And then at some point, we're gonna have to go out and take some photos of some different animals in GTA Online for the LS Taurus board. But first, I'm gonna get started with us selling off five vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. So let's jump into that. All right, so right now I'm currently inside of my terabyte and this is how we're gonna start sourcing vehicles for our vehicle cargo warehouse. So we can go over to vehicle cargo right here and then yeah, pretty much from here, we can click to source a vehicle. So what vehicle are we getting? A mid-range vehicle. And just in case if you don't know, there's three different ranges of vehicle that we can steal. There's a standard range, which is the worst one. We have a mid-range, which is the one that we're getting and it's right in the middle. And then there's a top range vehicle and that's gonna pay out the most. We're looking to get top range, but I don't don't mind if we get a mid-range vehicle it's not the end of the world 
world. I just do not want to get standard range. Where is this car? This car pulled off to the side of the road. Oh, I have the cops on me. Oh, pardon me. I just stopped nearby. I mean, like, you didn't know I was going to steal a car. All right, so we just called off the cops. Now we just need to deliver this back to the warehouse, which is going to be like three miles from here. If you don't know, we want to try to wreck as little as possible because in the bottom right, as you can see, we have a repair cost. Right now, it's at $1,000. A lot of that was from me just shooting out the cops and just ran into a street sign. That's awesome. And just ran into a car. Great. Oh, my God. And then why? Oh, my God gosh was it paying attention to traffic <laughs> as i was saying that it was at a thousand but in a blink of an eye it is now two thousand one hundred dollars all right and there we go we made it to our vehicle warehouse all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually try to go to a public session and we're gonna go to a public session so we can get a little bit more money for the sell mission all right so i was able to join a public session with at least 25 players so we'll get a 50 percent bonus on whatever we do sell but here we go we're gonna sell off this mid-range vehicle and yeah there's gonna be a cooldown after we sell off this vehicle before we can sell off another vehicle. But yeah, let's click to export it. And there's three places that you can export this vehicle to, but you want to select specialist dealer right here because this is going to give the most profit because this one's going to give $50,000 of profit plus the 50% bonus on what we sell. So yeah, let's click to sell this off. And then yeah, we have to go and modify this vehicle just a little bit. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're just exporting this vehicle. We're in a public session, but we don't have to go too far. So there shouldn't be too many griefers coming after us. Oh, jeez, I just ran into a bike. We didn't lose any of our commission. Oh, yeah, same ordeal with the sell mission as to us sourcing the vehicle. If we do wreck with this vehicle, our commission is going to go down. So we want to make sure that we drive flawlessly so our commission can stay perfect. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. Not a scratch on the car. And we have a payment of 62500 but we got the 50% bonus. So that is $93,750, which is very nice. All right, but now we need to source and sell four more vehicles. So let me call up my terabyte and let's go source our next vehicle all right so once again we're at our terabyte so let's click to source another vehicle so what's this one gonna be and they're not telling me oh okay there we go a tyrus top range vehicle that is what we're looking for thank you game oh and a bonus it's not even that far away it's just at this mansion on top of this hill right here oh oh i get it i get it i get it it's this one right here where we can just go ahead steal the tyrus and then we have to trigger the boost so then we can just jump off of that ramp with the cops on us. All right, I just called off the cops. Um, and there's also enemies coming after us, but we have a repair cost of $5,000 and none of that was really my fault. Pretty much all the security guards that I just ignored to take out, they put in like $4,800 worth of damage right there. And then there's still a helicopter that's coming after me too, but I don't know. I think I'm out running that helicopter. So I don't think that's even being a big deal. Okay. This helicopter's caught up and this guy is putting in a decent amount of damage into me. Oh, okay. As I say that though, I'm close to my vehicle warehouse. And once we get here, they kind of pull back, but there we go. Our repair cost roughly seventy. $500, which is not great, but it's fine. All right, so you're thinking I could probably sell this off immediately, right? Well, the issue is, no, I cannot. I have like 15 minutes left. I think it's what, roughly a 20 minute cooldown between each sell mission, I think. I'm not too sure on that, but I just know I have 15 minutes left. And you're probably also thinking, oh, Dr. Crutch, you can just go ahead and source a ton of vehicles. Well, the cooldown's still gonna stand, so no, I'm not gonna do that. It makes no sense. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take all the photographs of all the animals that we need to get for the LS tourist board which i think we have an email yes we have an email right here and there's this big wall of text blah 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 but you go down here and here's the animals that we need to take a photo of today we need to take a photo of a boar a pug and a hen um the hen's gonna piss me off like last time i guarantee it uh all these are a little bit annoying in my opinion i don't know it's not just a dog we have to get a pug i might as well do that one first all right and right now in game it's actually like pouring its ass off so i don't know if this even affects any of this i hope not not, but apparently this is a pug location. Hopefully the rain doesn't force them inside. That would really piss me off if that's the case. Yeah, I literally don't even see like anyone. I don't even see like NPC humans. There's like no one here. Dude, I might blame this one on rain. All right, I'm at the Rockford Hills area and there's absolutely like no one walking. As I say, there's one person walking. I need a pug. You know, honestly, I might have to can this one for right now. I mean, just the freaking rain is screwing everything up, which is stupid. This is a video game. Rain is being a 
factor. All right, so I'm currently pivoting off of trying to find a pug. So instead, I'm going to try to find a boar. And I have a few locations in mind for a boar. You know, I've done this a few times now, and I've never gotten a deer, which is a little bit annoying because I always see deer. Like, I'm not even trying to find deer, and I just stumble upon them. All right, boar, where are you? Bro, do not tell me you're hiding because of the rain, too. They really just want to piss me off today. Oh, oh, wow. There's nice birds flying in the air. Wow, wow, wow. What a nice, great cormorant right here. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a decent way to make money, but the problem is, like, a lot of these animals are just so annoying to find. Bro, this is supposed to be another location of a boar, but there's not, dude, there's no way, there's no boars because the rain. It's a wild animal. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. I'm gonna go to Trevor's house. I'm gonna come back, and there better be a boar right there, or else I'm gonna be pissed. All right, I just need a boar. Oh, there's a boar. There's a boar. There's a boar. There's a boar, but it's on the run. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe the trick is just to go to Trevor's house, say hi, and then come back, but there we go. We found a boar. Uh, we're kind of near locations of where hens can spawn in. I don't know if this is going to be rain affected or not. Because last time we got hens, we couldn't find it in the nighttime, but we found it in the daytime. Someone said that they do only come out during the daytime, since apparently that happens in real life. But can we find a hen? Will you come out in the rain? Which doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm literally just going to go back and forth, which is going to be a little annoying. Oh, wait, never mind. Nope, never mind, never mind. I looked at the time. I think we can actually sell off another vehicle from our vehicle warehouse. So I'm going to do that. All right, so we can go ahead and export this vehicle right here, the Tyrus. So let me customize this thing, and then we'll send it off to a specialist dealer. All right, so here we go. All we have to do is just take this Tyrus to the buyer, which he's like three miles away, the buyer, so not too bad. Wow, I did not expect that to actually like affect my commission. And I know it only knocked my commission down by $64, but there's just something about seeing like a perfect $100,000 or whatever the price is to sell the vehicle off. There's just something nice about seeing it as a perfect number. Frick, frick. Okay, that was a bad wreck. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. So we made $147,000 off of that sell mission, but we have three more that we have to go out and get. So let me call in my terabyte. Let's go get our third one. All right, here we go. Once again, we're back at the terabyte. Let's go source another vehicle. Which one are we getting this time? Okay, Coquette Classic, a mid-range vehicle. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I do not want to see the word standard range at all. Oh yeah, by the way, there's actually a way you can like cheese the system so that you only get top range vehicles and essentially what you do for that is you keep sourcing a bunch of like standard or mid-range vehicles like in your vehicle warehouse and then at a certain point all you'll get is top range vehicles we're not doing that in this series i just want to make that clear because a lot of people suggest me to do that but we're not doing that in this series so we just go out and we just take a chance see if we get a good top range vehicle if we'll just get a mid-range or get a standard range all right the cars in here just smacked a guy and shot her but yeah here's the coquette classic right here so all we have to do is just drive three and a half miles back to our warehouse and we should be good to go oh great but there's people coming after me too so they're gonna rack up the repair costs which is gonna be a little bit annoying hopefully i can outrun them that's a funny way to outrun them. Just run into the back of a car and then the enemy run into the back of me yeah, that's a very funny way of outrunning them jeez that's another funny way of outrunning. I'm running into a tree. Wow, yeah. My unorthodox ways are not really working. Well, let's just say I didn't drive very well. <laughs> the repair cost is 7000 Yeah, that was pretty much all my fault that time. Yeah, that was not good. So as we wait to export another vehicle, I'm actually going to go up to my methodology lab. We're going to sell off all of our methodology right now. So yeah, let's jump into that. All right, so I've made it over to my methodology lab. And as you can see at the bottom right, we have a value of $263,000 of product that's absolutely maxed out. So we need to go over here and sell sell it off. Now, obviously, I'm still in a session with at least 25 players, and I guess we haven't even sold this off before, so this is going to be a first time selling this thing off. But here we go. We're going to sell it to Los Santos for $395,000 plus a 50% bonus on whatever we do sell. Okay, it says enter a boat. We get the boat one, which depends on which boat one. Okay, okay, that one's not bad. I don't mind that one. It's kind of off the eastern coast of Los Santos, which are not a lot of people go on the east coast of Los Santos. Everyone, if they're going to go on the coast, they're going to be usually at the west coast with the Del Perro Pier and Vespucci Beach and all that area. So I think I'm happy with this. It's not a long sell mission either, but that's good too. Oh yeah, the reason that I'm doing this sell mission now versus trying to find a pug or a hen is because I actually think that the daytime slash nighttime affects whether these animals come out, which is very frustrating. I think hens come out during the daytime, but at the same time,
daytime, they don't want to come out during the rain. And pugs, well, I'm going to assume they're going to come out in the daytime too. Just makes sense. So yeah, hopefully we'll do this sell mission. We'll go back over to our vehicle cargo warehouse, sell off another vehicle, source another vehicle. And then as we wait for that cooldown, we'll go back and try to find those two other animals. All right, so here we go. We've made it over to our boats. I like the location that we're at because if someone wants to grieve us, they're going to have to make a big effort just to come out here just to try to grief me. So I think we should be good, but we'll see. So essentially with this sell mission, we have to take a boat and we have to go to five different locations with the boat. And we have three boats and each boat contains five different things of product. So after one boat is fully sold off, then we have to get out and get on our next boat. Essentially repeat that process over and over again. All right, so here's the last location that we need to go to with this cell vehicle. Oh my God, we have to go in the cave. I always forget this cave actually exists, but there we go. Delivery has been complete. See, I just called in my oppressor, but it spawned in all the way over there, which is not good. Think, think, what can I do? Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, this really sucks. I just called in a dinghy and it spawned in right there, which I mean, it's closer, but not close enough. Fine, fine, I'll just take a jet ski. And just in case for the people that want me to spawn in a sparrow, which will spawn in right next to you and go all the way back to the boat, I don't have a sparrow because this is loser to luxury we have to spin the wheel to see if we can land on buying a sparrow which we haven't all right we made it back to our cell vehicle once again we have to get to the same spots over again so pretty much nothing really to see as long as no griefer comes after me all right here we go once again back in the cave very nice job we have one more cell vehicle that we have to go to so yeah let me get inside this boat let me head all the way back there and do the same thing over again all right so i'm in my last cell vehicle as you can see in the top left i mean we were at a pretty full lobby there's now only nine people in this lobby so i think that's gonna affect our payout i think the bonus is determined by how many people are in the session once you sell off the final vehicle as opposed to you know how many people are in at the start of your sell mission so yeah i think we're gonna get screwed with that which sucks nice another person left right before i was about to make it here so this is gonna be great four hundred and ninety two thousand dollars oh let me do some quick math in my head i don't know i'm a little confused by that because that's like roughly a 25 percent bonus instead of a 50 but there's only nine people in here. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we made like roughly $500,000 off that sell mission. So yeah, let's head back over to our vehicle warehouse and sell off our next vehicle. All right, so I'm having a tough time trying to find like a pretty full session. So I'm only in a session with 20 players, but you know, it's close to the 25 I need to get for a 50% bonus, but whatever. But here we go. Let's sell off this vehicle right here, the Coquette Classic. So yeah, let me customize this thing and we'll get into it. All right, so here we go. We have to take this Coquette Classic two miles and three quarters. It's not awful. We'll see how it goes. Okay, car is swerving into my lane. Car. And that car barely tipped me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, hold on. We have bigger fish to fry. We have bigger fish to fry. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's an oppression nearby if I just didn't make that clear. So I did learn last time that they can't lock on to my car when we're doing a cell mission. But still, they can still blow it up if they, you know, are good. Or they can die if they run into one of my bullets. So here, I'm gonna bait them a little bit, right? Since I know they can't auto lock onto me, I'm gonna get them away from the building. That's my issue right now. I need them to get them open range. So now he's getting away. He's gonna hide behind here. I got mucked. Get up. No, no. Well, that worked. That worked. That worked. That worked. That worked. Here. Um, hold that for me. Thanks. Okay, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Good. We blew up the vehicle. Go. Just go. Run. 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 I don't care that someone just mucked me. I assume it was that guy, which, I mean, ha 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 ha, you're so funny. I just need to sell this thing off. Please and thank you. All right, anyways, we have like a mile to go. My commission right now, I don't care about it. Let's just get there. Let's just get paid. Dang, I got mugged for like $4,500, though. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I didn't want to mess around and try to like, you know, take out the mugger, but I will mess around and complete this cell mission. Ah, oppressor griefers. Ah, no match for Dr. Clutch. No match at all. Absolute W. We made $88,000 off of that cell mission. We have two more vehicles that we still need to sell off. This might be a little risky, but you know, getting into a session has been pretty hard today, so I'm probably going to stay in the session. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drive up here. He's gonna drive up here to do what? Suck? <laughs> like what? No, like actually, what is his goal of just driving up here? Just to be like, oh, I'm trash. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's in a door. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's no incentive for you at this point. Here he comes. Yeah, he's probably just going to shoot from a mile away. Oh, no. He just turned around. Okay. He's requested a ballistic armor and minigun. Hmm. Doesn't that mean you're like slower though? Oh, wait, no. He's back in his torridor. I don't know, man. This guy's something. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Poor four. Poor four. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't have ammo. Shoot. No, give me ammo, dude. I need homing launcher ammo. Oh, you freaking annoying person. Dang it. 
called it in right at the last second. Oh, wow. He is a griefer. He's not a smart one, though. We have confirmed that. Confirmed moron. So yeah, we're just gonna get out of here. We'll take the high road for right now. See, this is what you have to do, ladies and gentlemen. You take the high road, put him in his place, not once, but twice, and then just take the high road. Right, anyways, we call him my terabyte. I'm gonna get another vehicle. Oh, poor guy. He's in his deluxo right now. Oh, there's a blue dot on the map. Oh, it's a security van. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to ignore that right now because I think that guy's going to still try to come after me. Okay. Okay. It's making sense why he's in a Deluxo. He's in a Deluxo because it's like one of the best counters for an impressor mark too, which I'm not trying to go after him. I'm trying to, you know, do my wheel spins. So we're getting the Z type. Oh, it's a top range. Nice. Oh, he's after me. Yep. Okay. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. He doesn't even know what I'm doing. That's the funny thing. I think he's just trying to come after me. Oh, he's sending grenades at me. Can you actually make it that far? Dang it. He blew my impressor though. Well, I guess there's no need for me to be up here anymore. Dude, He's going to be just a little pissed at this point. Did he just fall off the building? Oh my God, that's hilarious. He fell off the building. I think he left his Deluxo up there too. Oh my God. This guy, this guy, man. I'm gonna call him a vehicle. I'm gonna call him my buzzard. He's trying to come after me still, which, you know, I'm just trying to make money. You know, I'm trying to entertain the masses. He's just trying to entertain his ass. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? So yeah, we're gonna get into our sparrow right here. Nope, this isn't a sparrow. Be smart. We're getting into our buzzard, and we're just gonna make it over to the location, and I'm just gonna jump out immediately. We're not trying to dack him. We're just trying to do our thing. So we've made it over to Vespucci Canals. All we had to do is already back in his deluxo. Oh, we have to tail the Karuma to the high. Out. I'm not gonna be close to that. This issue, the Karuma was lost. I, I couldn't tail it. We never got to our vehicle, so we're not counting that as, you know, like a fail cell mission. So we're gonna go back and try to source another vehicle. Oh, wow. Wow. You are so mature. Little explicit word right there. Wow. Mm, very mature guy. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to do the same old thing. Oh, I can't do the same thing. I didn't know there was a cool down between us doing that. Okay. I wish we put missiles in here. If we put missiles in here, it'd be so easy just to take them out right now. Yeah, there it is. Personal vehicle's been destroyed. I kind of expected that. I kind of wanted to put it back in storage, but the game didn't let me. He's just camping outside of my terabyte, which is hilarious. Let's try it again. I mean, we're just going to get into our oppressor, and we're just going to get out of there. Let's find out what vehicle it is first. T20 top range. Cool. <laughs> He's just sending a ton of missiles at my terabyte right now. I can just hear all the explosives. Oh, man. What an interesting Hella, dude. I'm curious, like, what goes on in his head? He's like, hmm, let me go after this guy that's not really trying to engage me anymore. You know, I wasn't even trying to engage him in the beginning. I was just doing as the wheel told me to. And then he's like, oh, boo, boo. that's exactly what he did. Shoot, I have to get in a cargo bob? Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like how I have to get into a cargo bob. Where'd he go? Did he go off the radar or something? I'll see him on the map. Where did he leave? Wait, did that guy leave? <laughs> did he rage quit? His name is JP. Where's JP? Mr. John Patrick left from the looks of it. Wow, that's just too much skill. He couldn't handle all the skill that I just put out right there. I mean, I'm kind of saying that jokingly, but at the same time, that guy was not talented, so my little bit of skill probably just overwhelmed him. I think once we actually get this back to the vehicle warehouse, I want to message him. I want to see what's up. All right, so this source mission is very annoying. We have to go over here, and you have to hook onto the T-20 with this cargo bob. And I think a helicopter comes after us, too, once we hook onto it. Okay, there we go. We hooked onto it. So yeah, all we have to do now is just deliver the T-20 back to the warehouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Here comes the helicopters coming after me. Luckily, it's not that moron coming after me though. All right, and here we go. We've made it back to the warehouse. I think it was only like a $3,000 repair cost, which isn't bad. All right, so the goal was after sourcing that vehicle to actually go out and try to find the hen and the pug. But since that guy had to be stupid, uh, he kind of wasted my time a little bit and now it's the nighttime once again. So we'll have to wait it once more just to try to find a hen and a pug. Let me see if I can find this guy somewhere. All right, here we go. Yeah, I found him. It was this guy right here. Yeah, that'll hurt his ego right there. 100% that'll hurt his ego. Why are we playing him like a fiddle? I might as well just play him like a fiddle even more as I wait for our cooldown to expire. Oh, wait, do I? Hold on. I might not have to. Oh, I don't have to. <laughs> what a day. Awesome. All right. Yeah, let's just sell this off real quick. All right, so our cell mission this time is only like two and a half miles. It's not bad at all. I mean, most of the locations aren't bad. I think there's like one from my vehicle warehouse is like four-ish miles away. Way. Aside from that, they're roughly between two and three miles. And when you get to use one of the best cars in the game, the T20, it makes it a lot quicker. I remember like eight years ago when I was driving around my T20 thinking I was like the coolest thing in the world, you know, just doing the Pacific Standard heist over and over again. Ah, those were much simpler days.
Also days where I didn't wreck like a moron. Wait a minute. Is there someone after me again? Oh, I just ran into a tree. I see something on the mini map. I got to keep an eye out. Um, I don't know if he's after me or not. He's a little far, so I'm going to just send it. Then a Deluxo. Apparently everyone wants to attack me in Deluxos today. Hmm, I'm going to pay attention on the map. Oh yeah, he is after me. Okay, yeah. Let's get in here. Let's get the little delivered thing right there. That's four out of five vehicles we need to sell off. Made $147,000 off of that. Where is this guy now? Um, he's driving back this way. Are you a good person or are you a bad person? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's not like coming after me anymore. After what I experienced earlier, I don't know what to even think. Okay, he just flew away. Might have to keep an eye out on that guy for our final sell mission. Oh, that guy messaged us back. Oh, okay. Let's see what he has to say. You're the one running. You left. Hmm. How should I roast him? Because there's two avenues I can roast him here. I have the two nothing roast. I have him actually running away for good. Hmm. Oh, you know, I'll combine them both. Yeah, there you go. But you left after two nothing. Yeah. You know, I should probably title this video. I made someone cry in GTA Online. He has to be crying right now. There's no way that he's just sitting there just calm. He is probably so pissed off right now. He's probably like crying like in the bathroom or something like that. We have one more so much we have to do. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's source another vehicle. Ah, oh, we end off on a standard range vehicle, but okay. We only got one. So what do we get? We got two mid range vehicles. We had two top range vehicles, and then we're going to get a standard range. Not bad. Okay. Here's a car right here. I just found the car. The car is on the run. Um, can I be a good shot? No, I cannot. Yeah, I'm not using the best vehicle for this. I'm using the oppressor. Oh, yeah, if I had like a compact EMP launcher, I could like disable the vehicle for a second. That would be like really smart to do, but I don't have that. So I'm going to post up like right here. Excuse me. I'm doing something, cops. Thank you. Here's the car. Here's the car. Well, it's over too. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, I just, did I take him out? Wow, I was kind of a lucky shot. That was from far away too. All right, yeah, let's just get in the felter. Oh, good. Something we can look forward to. He messaged me again. Wow. It took him a while to respond because he's probably crying so hard right now. He's probably like choking on tears. He had to like gather himself for a second just to like write something out. I mean, it's just what I'm assuming, you know, with this individual. He's leading me to assume some things. It's his fault. But anyways, there we go. We've delivered the felter back to the warehouse. I think once again, like a $3,000 repair cost. Not bad. All right, let's see what he said because he kept running. Bro, bro doesn't know what I'm doing. You know, we're just going to end it right here. See you Thursday. All right. I'm going to be so cryptic right here. I'm saying see you Thursday. This is what this video is going to come out. It's going to come out on a Thursday. See you Thursday. A bunch of winky faces. He's probably so confused right now. Oh, but people will know. People will know what that means. All right. So we still need to go out and try to find a hen and a bug. So we need to go do that. We need to go do that now. And I'm not going to sell off that final vehicle until we find our hen and our pug. All right. So it's not raining anymore in Los Santos. It's a beautiful beautiful sunny day in Los Santos you know it's a perfect day to bring out your animals right so I better see a pug I better see a pug somewhere yeah there's a lot more people walking around okay there's a dog that's not a pug though bro there's a ton of people there's just no pugs it's all one dog okay there's no pugs there's no pugs spawning in here ah uh, dude hey that guy just messaged me again hmm let's take a look no yes that's just what's gonna happen he has no idea but oh he will know he will know maybe oh oh police. There's a cat, but there's no pugs. Mm -mm. That is so stupid. All right, on to our next location. I don't play with rabbits. <laughs> okay, I don't play with rabbits. Hmm, what's a good comeback? What's a good comeback for that? I don't play with rabbits. Hmm, I'll just say you'll see Thursday. <laughs> I'm being so specific with this Thursday, too. He's probably so confused with that. All right, anyways, let me go try to find this pug still. Great. There's a ton of explosions here. But there's a pug. I found a pug. I found a pug, but there's a ton of explosions. The pug is just sitting here looking inside the shop. That's where I find a pug with a bunch of explosions nearby, but it's just sitting and looking into the store. God, this game is so confusing. You have all the other NPCs just running away, but the thing I'm looking for is just staying put. I appreciate that one, but interesting. Very interesting. All right, I made it back to the hen house. I just need to find one. Who is feeling photogenic? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The second time I've gotten hens and they're just allergic to the camera, I guess. All right. I need one. I need one. One hen. Oh my. This is really starting to get frustrating. It is a prime daytime. It's almost noon. It is prime daytime. They should be just prancing around, but I know. Yeah, this is really getting frustrating. This is getting so frustrating. I know there's another spot I don't want to go to, but there's like another spot somewhere in Plato Bay. Ah, I might as well just go over there because 
I think when we got this last time, it was at the Polito Bay location, which is stupid. All right, hands. Wait, I just heard something. No, don't get near the oppressor. Oh, is this what you want to take a photo by? Oh, no, you're running away. No, you're not running away from me. I think it was trying to make a run for it. Please do not turn the corner. Okay, nice photo right <laughs> It is right next to the oppressor. Still right by the oppressor. My goodness. Look at it. Wait, where did it go? I don't even know where you went. Wait, where did it go? Did it really just get juked out? Well, that hen's gone. It just despawned. Oh, no, it's running away. Now they're just running out in the street? <laughs> it's stuck on the curb. Oh, hen. Oh, hen. This is what you get. That's what you get for being so annoying. But there we go. So in total, we got paid $100,000 for that whole ordeal. Which, I mean, that is a lot of work for $100,000. At least what we did today. But we still have to still have one more vehicle. So, yeah, let's go back and do that. All right. So we're back in our vehicle warehouse. Oh, we have to sell off this felter right here. So yeah, let me customize this thing and we'll be ready to go. All right, and we have to go like two and a quarter miles to the buyer for this one. Not bad at all. Driving this cheap felter though, we're gonna get a commission of $3,700, but we'll get a 50% bonus, which what? That'll be like $50,000. Ugh, disgusting. Well, that was embarrassing. I thought I could thread the needle. Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought there was a pressure after me. Sorry, I'm a little paranoid. There's multiple oppressors on the map. Let me put my oppressors away because I think I got spooked out by my own oppressor. Yeah, that's really embarrassing. After that bad wreck, too. Jeez. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. There's one bad wreck. But whatever. It's fine. There we go. We made $55,000 off of that sell mission. So after today's episode, we're now sitting on $1,584,000. So we still need to roughly get like $1.2 million more dollars before we can actually actually purchase that Karen Viva Knight, our newest HSW vehicle. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see if two hours of drag racing in GCA Online is actually worth it.